Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to say thanks this day for giving unto us President Obama and his family. Father, I thank you for him, Lord. Right now, I just place a hedge of protection about him and his family, Lord, that you would cover him on every side. Protect him in every way. Protect his wife. Protect his children in every way, Lord. Father, I cover him with the blood of Jesus, Lord God, that you would encamp your angels around him. Father, we thank you for giving us a man of God for America, to lead America in a time as such as this. Father, we thank you for his heart. We thank you for his compassion. And Father, we believe right now, even as he makes some of the most major decisions in his presidency in regards to who his cabinet members would be. Father, that he was moved wisely and that he would be prayerful, Lord God. And I believe right now by faith that you would surround him with men and women of God who are like-minded, that have a heart for humanity, for true justice for all, for equality. Father, that you would give them the wisdom to lead this nation and that they would trust you in all their ways. Father, my prayer is that President Obama would seek your face full glory like never before. Continue to touch him, Lord God. Continue to give him wisdom of how to lead this nation. Father, I believe right now for relationships to be established around the world, that you would give President Obama the wisdom, the know-how, the technical strategy, what to say, when to say, how to say it. And Father, we thank you that relationships that would be beneficial to America, that Barack Obama will take the lead, Lord God, but most of all, he would be led by your spirit. Father God, your word says that the authorities that are in place are ordained by God. And Father, I ask that you would draw, continue to draw Barack Obama close to you, Lord. Closer and closer, Lord God, that your voice would be a distinct voice. Whole glory. And Father, your word says that your sheep hears your voice. You know them and they follow you. To God be the glory in President Obama's life. And Father, I place a hedge of protection about his children, about his wife. And Father, that you would give his wife the strength, the courage that she needs to be the woman of God, to be the mate that she needs to be right now, to stand by his side in the way that she needs to stand by his side, to be an encouragement to him every step of the way. Father, we thank you for the first family. We thank you, Lord, that all you've done for us in the name of Jesus here in America, that for the first time we can be true to the creed that we truly are one nation under God. Whole oh, glory that blacks and whites and Hispanic and Asians, that we all have a common cause for humanity to live, to be equal, to live in a life where there's true justice and equality for all. Father, we thank you because you've been so good. Father, I place a hedge of protection about President Obama that every evil plan, every evil plot will go back to whence it came from. Father, that you have angels on his left side, on his right, that he's covered by the blood of Jesus in the gates of hell cannot prevail against him. I release all the authority entrusted in me to cover President Obama as an apostle of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for President Obama right now. I thank you for him. And Father, that he will not succumb to those around him that mean him absolutely no good. Father, give him an odyssey. 
Give them a heart to understand, to see who's really around them, to see who really cares. Father, we thank you once again. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.